A Utah judge ruling that Corey Richens should stand trial in her husband's murder. Prosecutors allege the 34-year-old mom first tried to murder her husband, Eric Richens, by poisoning his sandwich. And when that failed, a month later, she allegedly poisoned his drink with fentanyl, killing him inside their home near Park City. Richens is facing charges of aggravated murder, drug, and various fraud charges. The defense cross-examining a detective in the case about whether any fentanyl was found in the family's home on the day of Eric's death. Were any illegal drugs found in the home that night? That I don't really believe so. So no fentanyl was found in the home? Not that I'm aware of. The prosecution today arguing that Richens was planning a future with her lover revealed in a series of deleted text messages. The defendant lamented to her paramour, life would be so perfect. And then two weeks later, she assured her paramour, life is going to be different, I promise. Hang in there until Friday. On Friday, Eric Richens was dead. Last November, Corey's mother and brother sat down with ABC News, asserting their belief that Eric's death was accidental. I do not believe in my heart Corey could ever not just kill Eric, but kill anything or anyone. She loves her, her boys way too much to, to take their father away from them. Richens' family says the children's grief book she published was taken off Amazon and is no longer being sold. Richens pleaded not guilty to the 11 charges she's facing. The trial is set for spring of next year. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.